PR Connections Radio presents. Welcome to Vegas Hockey Hub here on PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. And on this edition of Vegas Hockey Hub, we are going to be doing a, another edition of Vegas Hockey Hub where we're going to be talking about and breaking down your Vegas Golden Knights. And this time we are going to be doing what we call the Russian Connection as we are going to be talking about a few players that came from Russia that are on your Vegas Golden Knights right here, right now. We have done episodes where we've talked about, you know, the connection with Sweden. We talked about the connection when it came to the Western Hockey League. We talked about the Canadian Hockey League, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. There is a lot of stuff that we're talking about and breaking down here on Vegas Hockey Hub. So this time we're going to be talking about Russia and players that are on the Vegas Golden Knights that have come from Russia. So it's going to be a very good episode. We're going to be talking about all of that here on Vegas Hockey Hub. And uh, on your, I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. Go to PRConnectionsRadio.com, Voice of New Media. Check out all the amazing content we have on the network. We have about a dozen shows on the platform, including Vegas Hockey Hub. So my recommendation is to go to the website and check out all the content. We also have our social medias uh, as well. We are on all major platforms at Vegas Hockey Hub. And if you want to follow your host, by the way, I am right down there on all major platforms at Ian J. Rakelli. So the concept and the idea of this video came from a kind of a reoccurring theme I have noticed with your Vegas Golden Knights. And that is the fact that there is a decent amount of Russians that are on the Vegas Golden Knights roster. Now, this could be current, this could be former, this could be future. Regardless of that, it is a reoccurring situation where I have seen that, you know, when it comes to George McPhee, when it comes to Kelly McCrimmon, you're seeing that Russians are being signed, they're being drafted, being traded for, acquired, regardless of how it's done. The Vegas Golden Knights and having players from Russia on the roster, we have seen it ever since they've been brought in, ever since they were acquired in 2017, seven seasons in, and there is a good common link when it comes to the Vegas Golden Knights, and when it comes to the uh, country of Russia. So, really getting into this, let's kind of establish the background here, because there's something that I guess some people don't know, and that is that George McPhee has actually had a well-established pattern of drafting and acquiring Russian players. Now, something that some people may not realize and some people may not know this, George McPhee, before coming to the Vegas Golden Knights, he was the general manager of the Washington Capitals for about 15 years. He was a guy who was a very solid and very good long tenure guy of the Washington Capitals organization before moving over and being part of your Vegas Golden Knights organization. And something that he did while in Washington that he has done now is draft and or sign Russians. As a matter of fact, there is one player that he will forever be known for, a player that you know is considered one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. And of course, I am talking about Someone who a lot of people have grown up with. Definitely, if you're in my era, you grew up watching this guy. And, of course, that is the great eight, and that is Alex Ovechkin. Alex Ovechkin will forever be probably the greatest draft pick. He'll be the greatest player that, you know, George McPhee will have ever had on his resume. And very well warranted. I mean, he is at least a top 10 player all time in NHL history. What an amazing player he was. But what some people also seem to forget is that when it came to the Vegas Golden Knights, when it came to what you saw with the Washington Capitals, you know, Alexander Simeon, he also was a Russian that was there with the Washington Capitals when he was the general manager of the Washington Capitals out there. He had a history of bringing in Russians and having them be a good 
core member of his organization. So when they brought him over, when George McPhee was no longer the Washington Capitals general manager, and he was brought in to be the Vegas Golden Knights general manager, now the president of hockey operations, it stayed. And it has really stuck as the fact that you still have Russians and you still have players who have come from Russia that are on the Vegas Golden Knights roster, players who have been a good core member still to this very day. Now, we're going to start this out with the first player and really the biggest name uh, that came from Russia that is still an active member of your Vegas Golden Knights today, someone we, we've actually done um, some content on in the past here or there. And, of course, we are talking about Ivan Barbashev. Now, Ivan Barbashev, this is someone who has been with the Vegas Golden Knights for about a year, a year and a half at this point. But what I like about Ivan Barbashev isn't just the fact that he's a top six forward, not just the fact that he is someone you can put on your first line, you can put on your second line, but he is someone who is good defensively. Ivan Barbashev is somebody who can be a two-way player if needed. But more importantly, Ivan Barbashev, you can put him alongside Jack Eichel, and he can play. You put him alongside Jonathan Marcheseau, he can gel pretty well. We even saw with Nick Waugh and other players that they've had to swap in and out due to injuries on the same line with Ivan Barbashev, and he has been a good player to have on your line. He gels in his chemistry has done pretty solid at times. Now, I also will say with Ivan Barbashev, he helped the Vegas Golden Knights win a Stanley Cup championship. If you didn't have him on that roster and you didn't have him do what he did in 2023, and that was be a vital piece during the Stanley Cup playoff, you probably aren't winning a championship if you are the Vegas Golden Knights because you needed to have a guy like him on that top six in Vegas. So Ivan Barbashev was a key factor and is one of the biggest players the Vegas Golden Knights acquired that did come from Russia that played for the Vegas Golden Knights. But, you know, you might be asking yourself an important question. Well, Ian, wasn't Ivan, Ivan Barbashev during the Kelly McCrimmon era, not the George McPhee era? Well, as a general manager, you'd be correct. The general manager side of it, Kelly McCrimmon, has been the GM for the past five seasons. But what you also are not going to notice, and something that a lot of people aren't paying attention to, is that just because Kelly McCrimmon is the GM, well, George McPhee is still the president. So because you have George McPhee, he's still in the executive room. He is still there, and he probably has a lot of input still to this to the situation. So... Considering what I said before, that there was a considerable amount of Russians that was on the Washington Capitals organization, it doesn't it doesn't be a huge shocker to anybody that there is a decent amount of Russians that are on the Golden Knights organization to this day. And Ivan Barbashev was a key trade. He was someone that when you brought him over to the Vegas Golden Knights organization, he has been a push, you put him in play, and he can be a really good, excellent player on that top six. But what about drafting, right? What about the NHL draft? Is the Vegas Golden Knights have a, have a connection when it comes to the NHL draft? Is there a link towards the NHL draft? They've done about seven seasons of this. And Russia. How many players have the Vegas Golden Knights drafted from the NHL draft that have ended up being on the Vegas Golden Knights roster? Well, to really take back and look at that, you have to look at what was drafted and who was being taken, right? Okay, so let's start this out from the very beginning. In 2017, was there any Russians that were drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights during their expansion, during their inaugural season? Well, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, there was. There was a goaltender who was drafted in the fourth round by the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, the only thing about this was the goaltender, he never suited up 
for the Vegas Golden Knights organization. They eventually did not have him be with the Vegas Golden Knights organization, but they still drafted a Russian in the fourth round during their inaugural draft class. But okay, how about the next year? In 2018, year two, did the Vegas Golden Knights draft a Russian? As a matter of fact, they did. In fact, their top pick in the 2018 draft was a guy named Ivan Morozov. And Ivan Morozov spent a couple of seasons playing at the AHL level, suiting up for the Henderson Silver Knights organization. But unfortunately, he just did not pan out for the Golden Knights. And he is now playing in the KHL back in Russia. But still, their top pick in 2018 was a Russian in Ivan Morozov. Okay, let's establish the pattern here. All right, in 2019, is it three for three? Did they draft a Russian in this draft? Well, of course they did. And the player they selected has been a vital part of their roster as of late. And of course, I'm talking about Pavel Dorofiev. Pavel Dorofiev, he, they were, he was their second pick in the 2019 NHL draft. And what a good draft pick that was. Pavel Dorofiev, his energy, his hustle, his drive. This is somebody who's only played about 50 or more games in the NHL. But man, I will say that Pavel Dorofiev has impressed me. He has impressed you. And he probably and most definitely has impressed George McPhee and Kelly McCrimmon on that side with the Vegas Golden Knights. Him being a 79th overall pick back in 2019 and the fact that he has spent the last two seasons playing parts in the NHL. You see the confidence with Pavel Dorofiev. It's, it's growing and growing and growing. And with Pavel Dorofiev, this is someone who's not even 24 years old yet. And he is a solid middle six forward with your Vegas Golden Knights. So, when you're talking about the Russian connection, Paladorofiev is one of the main reasons why. And he is someone that moving forward is going to be a mainstay. He is someone who's going to be a everyday starter with the Vegas Golden Knights organization. And I say this because Pavel Dorofiev has the upside. He has the potential to be a great player with the Vegas Golden Knights. I like what I see from him. Uh, I think that he'll become a fan favorite eventually down the line as he spends more time here in Vegas. Like I said, I like his energy. I like his quickness. And more importantly, his maturity at only, tw at only 24 years old. He is a player who you can count on moving forward. So for Pavel Dorofiev, him being drafted in 2019, it once again establishes that pattern that we were talking about. It established the fact that in 2017, they drafted a goalie in the fourth round from Russia. In 2018, their top pick in the second round came from Russia. In 2019, Pavel Dorofiev, they drafted him in 2019 in the third round. So you're seeing the pattern here. The Vegas Golden Knights drafting a Russian was becoming a trend. But to take a quote from my mentor real quick, you yeah, Dre is good, but you need to give me some more, right? I need to develop more of a pattern. Is How many more times have they drafted a Russian in the NHL draft? Okay, let's go to 2020. Okay, did they draft a Russian in 2020? The answer is yes. They drafted a guy named Maxim Murashev, who is a seventh-round pick in the 2020 NHL draft. Now, he it did spend some time in the AHL with the Henderson Silver Knights before going back to Russia. He is playing in the KHL right now. So kind of similar to Ivan Morozov, he was selected by the team. He spent a little bit of time with the Golden Knights organization in the minors, but now he is back in Russia. But once again, we're just setting up the tone here. Four years in and four Russians selected in the NHL draft for your Vegas Golden Knights. Let's keep going. 2021. They wanted to see, okay, did they draft a Russian in the 2021 draft? Did we make it five for five 
when it came to your Vegas Golden Knights organization? Well, ding, 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 ding. The Vegas Golden Knights did draft a player in the 2021 draft. In fact, they did draft someone pretty high that was a Russian, and that is Daniel Chaka. Now, Daniel Chaka was a second-round pick. He was the second pick in the Golden Knights organization in 2021, and the Golden Knights actually traded back to get him. The Detroit Red Wings won the trade up, so the Golden Knights did a pick swap, and Daniel Chaka was who they selected. Now, Daniel Chaka has not spent any time with the actual NHL team. However, he has spent the past two seasons playing with the Henderson Silver Knights, and he has actually played well over 100 AHL games in the past two seasons with the Henderson Centers and Silver Knights. So in terms of value, in terms of overall value for a second round pick, Daniel Chaka, he was a top 10 prospect entering the year with the Henderson Silver Knights, with the Vegas Golden Knights farm system. So for Daniel Chaka, it's going to be interesting to see what happens moving forward. Now keep this in mind with Chaka, he is only 21 years old. So because he's 21, because he's only spent two seasons in the minors, there still is that window, there still is that potential for him to progress, for him to still move up. But yes, for the fifth year in a row, the Vegas Golden Knights did select a Russian in the NHL draft. Kind of once again, establishing the pattern here of the Vegas Golden Knights going to the NHL draft, and in some way, some part, they draft a Russian during the NHL draft. So, you know, that's five for five, right? Okay, that's five for five. We could sit there and say, okay, we're done. Because, you know, 2022 and 2023, something interesting happened. Uh, 2022 and 2023, there was not any Russians taken during that thing. But the fact that you had five years in a row that they would select a Russian during the NHL draft, it just tells me that when it comes to the Vegas Gold Knights, you see the pattern, you see the connection there on how the Vegas Golden Knights were selecting Russians. But let's get away from that for a minute, okay? Let's get away from the NHL draft. and Let's get away from the fact that, yes, five years in a row, they would select a Russian during the NHL draft. Well, did the Vegas Golden Knights ever go out and acquire a Russian? Did they ever go out and say, you know what? We're going to go and acquire somebody from somebody else. Because, you know, we saw only one example with Ivan Barbashev. But did they ever do it with somebody else? Well, as a matter of fact, they did. As in 2023, 2024, about a few weeks before the season would kick off, the Florida Panthers would put a Russian, a former first-round pick, in the waiver wire. And your Vegas Golden Knights would acquire him, and he would actually have a cup of coffee in the NHL with the Vegas Golden Knights this past season. And I am talking about 2024 AHL All-Star Gregory Diancinko. And Gregory Diancinko is someone where if you've been watching our Prospect Watch or if you've been watching anything about Vegas Hockey Hub when it came to the Henderson Silver Knights report, I have been very high on Gregory Diancinko. I say that this is somebody who is a fringe NHLer, but a solid AHLer. I mean, at this point, he was a former first-round pick. He was a top 15 selection in the NHL draft. Him being with the Golden Knights organization, he did really solid this year in Henderson. Like I said, he was an all-star in the AHL for Henderson. He was one of the only all-stars the Henderson Silver Knights had this season. And for Diancinko, he is someone you can put on the fourth line in the NHL if needed. But if you need a first-line winger... If you need somebody that's going to be a solid goal scorer, someone who's going to give you 20 or more goals in the AHL, Gregory Diancinko is that guy. We saw what he did in Florida's AHL team in the past season, and then this year he goes over to Vegas, joins the Henderson Silver Knights, and did a fantastic job this season in his first season in the AHL with your Vegas Golden Knights minor league system. So... Those are the four current players, right? Those are the four current players. 
But let me backtrack for just a second. Um, I have talked about this before on the channel. In fact, one of our best videos was looking back at the players selected during the 2017 NHL expansion draft. But you know something funny about that expansion draft in 2017? Well, what's funny is that the Vegas Golden Knights actually did draft. <laughs> they actually, to continue the theme, they did draft Russians in the 2017 NHL expansion draft. As a matter of fact, they did draft someone that I do want to mention on this show. Because during that 2017 NHL expansion draft, they ended up drafting a defenseman who never played for the Golden Knights. But he, wa he was selected, so I do have to mention him very quickly. During the 2017 NHL expansion draft, the Montreal Canadiens were on the board, and they gave up a defenseman who would be selected by the Golden Knights by the name of Alexei Emelin. And Alexei Emelin, he would be selected by the Golden Knights and then immediately sent to the Nashville Predators. Now, after leaving the Nashville Predators, he would go to the KHL. He would play with them for a little bit. But the fact that he was selected during the 2017 NHL expansion draft, once again, just kind of establishes the tone here that, funny enough, you even had a Russian taken during the expansion draft with the Vegas Golden Knights. But wait, folks, that's not all. This is the former players tab, okay? This is a bunch of former players who were on the Golden Knights organization at some point that did come from Russia. And the first two players on that list, by the way, did come from the inaugural season, and that is Nikita Gusev and Vadim Shiparov. And what I find kind of interesting about both of them is that they have a kind of unique story with the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, Nikita Gusev, he was from the Tampa Bay Lightning. They acquired him during the 2017 NHL expansion draft because they want, they selected Jason Garrison. They were given future assets alongside Jason Garrison. And Nikita Gusev was one of those guys they did get back then. Now, during the time that he was a future acquiree, he was playing in the KHL. He was not even in America yet. He wasn't even playing on North American soil. So when the Vegas Golden Knights acquired Nikita Gusev from the Tampa Bay Lightning during the 2017 expansion draft, there was some hope and some belief that he would end up coming to North America at some point. Keep in mind, playing for St. Petersburg in the KHL, he had just came off a 70-point season when he got selected and eventually moved over to the Vegas Golden Knights. And in 2019, Nikita Gusev would indeed go over to North America. He would play in the NHL. But he would not play for the Vegas Golden Knights, as after signing an entry-level deal with your Golden Knights organization, not even two months later, the Golden Knights would flip Nikita Gusev to the New Jersey Devils for a second and a third round pick. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I do want to let you know what those two picks ended up becoming, by the way. That third round pick they acquired in 2020, that ended up becoming top prospect Lucas Cormier. So funny enough, you don't get Lucas Cormier if you don't trade Nikita Gusev to the Vegas Golden Knights. And... In a bit of an ironic twist, the Vegas Golden Knights with a second round pick in 2021, the New Jersey Devils gave that up and they gave it to the Vegas Golden Knights. However, something very funny about that would happen is that that second round pick would be flipped to a bunch of different people, okay? It would be flipped, it would be sent around, it'd be moved up, down, left, and sideways. But eventually, that second round pick would end up going and would help them get a Russian in, Dan in Daniel Chaka. So, kind of funny how that works, by the way. So, they traded a Russian and got a future draft pick, which ended up being selecting a Russian. Just funny how life works. 
So Nikita Gusev, he would play for New Jersey. He played for Florida. He even had like, I think, a PTO at the Toronto Maple Leafs. But now Nikita Gusev is back in Russia playing for the KHL. But what a fun time that was during the summer of 2019. Man, that was a fun experience. But Dean Shiparov had so much hype around him. I swear, his number 87 jersey, so many people during that expansion year thought that he was going to be a top six forward. He was going to be one of the best goal scorers the Golden Knights had. And he did score a goal during the 2017-2018 season. He looked like he had a lot of upside and potential with the Golden Knights. But then the Golden Knights tried to option him down to the AHL. Vadim said no and immediately went back to Russia, where he's been playing in the KHL ever since. So, yeah, Vadim Shiparov had a lot of talent and a lot of potential, but he just did not pan out, unfortunately, for the NHL. And he's now back in Russia, winning MVPs, putting up great stats in the KHL. Hey, I applaud him. He's doing well. Evgeny Dadanov. <laughs> Man, what a story he had. I mean, the way he entered Vegas, the way he left Vegas, the trade that ended up not happening. Uh, yeah, very funny how that situation happened with uh, Evgeny Dadanov because this is somebody who was playing with you know a bunch of teams before moving over to the Golden Knights. As he was traded for Nick Holden, he would be with the Golden Knights for not only a year and a half, before he would be dealt to Montreal for the contract of Shea Weber. So, uh, so Evgeny Dadanoff, he only spent that one, you really won one year here, didn't make that much of an impact, but hey, it's going to be interesting to see what he does moving forward. Now, after leaving Montreal, I believe he's with the Dallas Stars now, so interesting to see what happens for the rest of his career. And the last player that is a former uh, NHL or with the Vegas Golden Knights, this one kind of hurts actually to talk about, is Daniil Myramanoff. Uh, Daniil Myramanoff, he was a young up-and-coming defenseman with the Vegas Golden Knights. He had so much upside in the AHL. He would split time with the NHL over the last couple of seasons, and he seemed like somebody that could be a future second defensive pairing, could be a future third defensive pairing with the Vegas Golden Knights, but then The Vegas Golden Knights, he got injured to begin the 2023-2024 season. And then, during the NHL trade deadline in 2024, the Vegas Golden Knights wanted to acquire Noah Hannafin. And because of that, they had to give up a young defenseman in the deal. And that ended up being Myromanoff. So, Daniil Myromanoff, unfortunately, is a former NHLer with the Vegas Golden Knights. He is now in Calgary. And hey, I applaud him. Kudos to him. I wish him well in the Calgary Flames organization. So as we're talking about the Russian connection between Vegas and Russia, let's go over the players just one more time. Now, the most notable player the Golden Knights have from Russia is their top six forward in Ivan Barbashev, a guy who helped them win a Stanley Cup this past season. Player number two is a young, skilled, middle six forward by the name of Pavel Dorofiev, someone who's not even 24 years old and someone who has a bright future ahead of him in the NHL with the Vegas Golden Knights. The next player is a former second round pick, a guy who was a top 10 prospect entering the season with the Vegas Golden Knights, and that is Henderson Silver Knights defenseman Daniel Chaka. And Daniel Chaka, he's an everyday starter in the AHL. We'll see how he develops overall, but only 21 years old. And then the final player who is in the AHL with the Vegas Golden Knights playing in Henderson, and that is AHL All-Star Gregory Diansenko. So that is the Russian connection. That is the players from Russia who are playing with the Golden Knights organization to this very day. So if you like the content, like subscribe, uh, to put it in the comment section, tell us what you thought about the video, something that you learned, maybe something you didn't know, maybe you did know, but give us your feedback in the comments down below. And like I said, like, share, and subscribe as it helps out the channel a lot. So until next time, I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. This is Vegas Hockey Hub. 
and continue watching hockey. Go support junior hockey and go Knights. Go. PR Connections Radio thanks you for watching this podcast. Check out more episodes of this show and our others at prconnectionsradio.com. Thank you.